Overwatch 2 released a sneak preview of the new tank, Malga. This was in the game from November 3rd to November 5th, and here's everything you need to know in a complete ability breakdown of this new tank. Now, the primary fire and secondary fire are both hit scan weapons, but they're a bit weird. They act a bit differently than anything else in the game. So if you look at the primary fire description, it actually says incinerary chain gun, automatic weapon that ignites enemies on repeated impact. And then the other one is volatile chain gun. So automatic weapon that deals critical damage to burning enemies. So one lights them up and then one kind of does critical damage regardless if it's in the body or the head. So if you'll notice, you're definitely not going to want to shoot both of them if they're really far away. You're just not doing that much damage. You can hurt them, but it's just not very good. The idea is if they're about this far away, light them up and then follow it up much faster, much cleaner kills. So as you can see, the spray pattern changes the moment you switch from firing one to two. There's no ramp up. The pattern just immediately changes. There's two different patterns. On to the next ability. So the next ability is called Overrun. It says charge forward and stomp to launch enemies. You are unstoppable while charging. So basically you get an Arissa Fortify. The same abilities as that. You can't be hooked. You can't be slept. None of that. So the idea is you kind of rush in and then stomp on people. And while they're CC'd in the air, much like a ball boob, you follow it up with your guns. Kind of like this. Sometimes they get pooped up in the air if you hit them well enough. Sometimes they get stuck on the ground. It kind of just depends on how you hit them. Now, the next ability is called Cardiac Overdrive. Nearby allies take reduced damage and heal by dealing damage. It actually gives them a siphon ability. So you notice if I push it and your allies are within this yellow ring that moves around with you. See, I got two in there right now. They gain siphon ability and they take reduced damage. Now, that also does apply to yourself. Even though it doesn't say that, it does. So the idea is, you know, you rush in, you need to get some health back. You're going to play very aggressive you pop it and you shoot and you're just you're siphoning health the whole time you're doing this the whole time so the ultimate is actually incredible and we're about to talk about that but he actually has one more passive that no other tanks have right now and if you look at it it's called berserker gain temporary health when dealing critical damage and that's incredible so you can actually do that by just catching people on fire right now you don't have to shoot him in the head you just shoot him in the body you get extra health you notice in the bottom left i got a little bit extra but you also can shoot them in the head at any time just to get that extra health and on top of that you can also pop your cardiac overdrive you gotta multiply all of these things that are going on so you can siphon your health with this you can get extra health with the critical you can shoot them in the head it's just there's so many different ways for you to kind of get your own health back as you're playing aggressive it's a very unique character now on to the ultimate so the ultimate is actually really cool there's nothing like it in the game right now it's called cage fight deploy a barrier that traps yourself and enemies gain unlimited ammo while inside so i'll show you what that looks like so what you do is you can see these chains that actually restricts all movement not only are they trapped in these walls and i can't walk out either but they cannot use their movement abilities a reaper can't wraith moira can't fade if mercy's in valkyrie she's sucked to the ground everything is very unique with this individual ultimate so the barrier works like a blue shield for your allies they can walk through it they can shoot through it in and out however now you cannot you're stuck inside no matter what the enemies they can walk through it to get in now they cannot walk out okay it's a one-way passage for enemies your allies it treats you like a regular shield you get unlimited ammo so the idea is you just go in you trap them all in there and you just unload it's a bit crazy so what do you think is this an op hero did you get the triumph let me know what you think down in the comments and thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you guys in the next one